to see solar passive solar water heating system that is passive solar water heating system the passive solar water heating system uses natural convection or household water pressure to circulate the water through the solar collector naturally no pump is used no fan is used no blow blower is used no motor is used to circulate the water from the tank to the collector so active system employs pumps and controllers to regulate the water or circulate the water through the collector and the storage tank but the active system is very efficient when compared to the passive system since passive system is not so efficient it is less efficient only but passive approach is a simple and economical because an active system more number of uh, additional accessories are used so the cost wise it is increases and we are using uh, heating fluid also because in during night time or rainy time or window i mean uh, windy time when the sun is not there no shine sunshine is there in the sense that time uh, that heating fluid will give the heating effect to the water which is stored in the storage tank or heat exchanger tank but in passive such uh, setups are not there just water will be circulated through the collector the collector will heat whenever the sun comes that time the radiation falls onto the collector which absorbs and the solar energy is converted into heat energy and the liquid is passing through the tubes as like here evacuated tubes are used here so this is nothing but the water is passing through this tubes if the water is passing through the tubes whenever the sun energy is there that time the water is getting heated the red line is indicated that heated water and the blue line indicated is nothing but cooling water the cooling water is entering into the boiling point the boiling tank and it is circulated in the evacuated uh, solar collectors so passive water heating system which has some parameters for installation as that of the active system south facing non shaded location it should not be shaded south facing if it is shaded in the sense then no sun will be a sun energy will be absorbed by the collector and the location of the collector should be tilted with the angle of our latitude because the storage tank and collectors are combined in a very close approximately roof structure capacities these are all the things we have to consider while we are going for the passive system as a system simple from storage tank to uh, boiler tank which is connected with the solar absorber or solar collector so the water density is very high so it will be moved from the den uh, solar tank i mean uh, storage tank to the solar cell once the water is heated the density of water is very low so it is very easy to move the water will be get moved because of the low density so there are two types of the passive water heating system one is a batch system another one is nothing but thermo siphon system so batch system in the sense it's a simplest for all solar water heating system it consists of one or more metal water tanks painted with heat absorbing black coating and placed in an insulated box or container with the glass or plastics which covers the the particular case and admits the sunlight to strike the tank directly to strike the tank directly that means one uh, um, array type of uh, uh, solar panel will be there and above that one more tank will be there it is in aluminium which is coated with uh, black paint that is nothing but batch the batch storage system the tank is the collector as well as the uh, boiler these system use the existing house pressure to move the water through the system so each time the hot water is tap is opened the heated water 
is from the system tank will be removed and replaced by the incoming cold water so whenever you are turning on the tap so the heated water will be poured into the bucket that time the new water will be entered into the storage tank so the piping that connects to and from from the batch heater that means cold water, heat water is coming down then again cold water will be filled so during cold time or night time no hot water will be drawn from the pipe since the water in the pipe is standing still and it is will get freezed so many application insulated polybutylene piping is used for the to expand if the frozen is happened so the water in the batch heater itself will not freeze because there is an adequate mass to keep it from the freezing second method is a thermosiphon system thermosiphon system in the thermosiphon system there is a expansion tank will be there the thermosiphon uses the flat plate connectors and separate storage tank that must be located higher than the collector the collector is similar to those used in the active system if the tank is higher in the sense then water flow will be very fast the storage tank is located above the collector receives the heated water coming from the top of the collector and to the top of the storage tank the cold water from the bottom of the storage tank will be drawn into the lower entry of the solar collector so the cold water will be moved to the lower entry of the solar collector and hot water will be moved to the heart of the top of the solar tank so the storage tank may use heat exchanger or may not use heat exchanger depends fossil fuels also used for uh, used as a heat exchanger so the cold water from the bottom of the storage tank will be drawn into the lower entry of the solar collector to replace the heated water that was called as the thermosiphon upward so here the cold water will move down and the hot water will be moved up the hot water will be placed here that hot water will be given to the tap so the top surface water will be given to the tap in the sense the hot water will be given to the tap this is nothing but thermosiphon system here sometimes heat exchange also used heat exchanger also used in order to provide the auxiliary heating process thermo system thermo siphon system is more costly and complex than the batch system it is best to use indirect system that one uses heat exchanger because in case of any uh, rainy season or no sunshine that time also the water will be kept in the heated heated conditions applications of the solar water heating system in the sense it can be used in hotels dairies textiles breweries and distilleries chemical bulk drug unit electroplating and galvanizing unit pulp and paper industry heating uh, hotels in the sense it may be used for uh, hot water is used for bathing kitchen wa kitchen washing laundry applications dishwashing dishwashers there also you can use this uh, hot water uh, cleaning dairies in the sense for uh, ghee production clarified butter ghee production cleaning and sterling the sterilizing the product and pasteurization textiles in the sense bleaching boiling printing dyeing curing aging and finishing breweries in the sense bottle washing 
work preparations by feed heatings chemical bulk drug units in the sense fermentation of the mixers by feed uh, applications electroplating and galvanizing units in the sense heating of plating paths cleaning degreasing applications pulp and paper industries in the sense boiler feed applications and soaking of pulp applications there we can use this system